Hey family, welcome to Live and Gather. In this video, we are doing a bridal shower party. If you have not done so already, please subscribe to this channel, give this video a like, and let me know what you think in the comment section below. Right now, we are just clearing out all of the furniture on our back patio so that we can set up for the bridal shower. If you don't have the necessary supplies for your party ideas, you can always rent it or you can buy it depending on if you plan to use it over and over again. In my case, I did rent table and chairs for this event. I wanted to have a different look, so I rented these bamboo chairs. I thought that they were beautiful, they were unique. I hadn't seen them anywhere before and I hadn't used them ever for a, a different party. So I got these for this bridal shower to make sure that this party made a statement for our bride. I really wanted turquoise blue tablecloths for this tablescape and the rental company that I went with didn't have the exact blue that I wanted so I just ended up buying them and it was actually the same cost to buy them as it was to rent them so I'm glad I just went ahead and bit the bullet and bought them so I have them for next time if I want to use this color blue for a different tablescape. I really wanted a beautiful backdrop for photos for this bridal shower, so I decided to go with a balloon garland setup. I did end up hiring a balloon artist to build this setup for me, so I didn't have to worry about doing it myself, and I think it turned out beautiful. They set up a hexagon stand and then added jewel tone balloons to it um, to make the backdrop that we went with. I do have a video on my channel where I do a DIY balloon garland if you're interested in how you might DIY something like this yourself. It can be tedious but I'll say it's definitely a lot cheaper if you could figure out how to do it yourself because I also saw that the, the price of the actual stand that I rented, I could have bought the same stand for the same price. So if you do feel creative and you feel like you have the bandwidth or the extra hands to do it yourself, I would say that I think that it's definitely possible. Okay, so this will be the most colorful tablescape that I have ever done. The bride loved jewel tones, her favorite color is toy place, and I really wanted to bring those colors that she loved into this space. So definitely this was a little bit out of my comfort zone. I was very nervous about how all of these different colors would come together, but I did like the end result in the end. I did use these mauve colored um, table runners that I got as well as these gold placemats to add some contrast to the table and, I, and I'll leave everything that I'm using in the description box below. The linen napkins that I'm using for this tablescape are actually from my shop so I'll leave a link to them in the description box below as well. Alright, so I am preparing to DIY the floral arrangements for my tablescape. I'm going for a wildflower garden party feel for these floral arrangements. I actually
actually handpicked all of the stems from my local wholesale florist nearby because I wanted to make sure that I got the colors that I wanted to match the color palette that I was going for for the tablescape. So if you are interested in doing your own floor arrangement, check your local floor shop to see if you have any wholesale floor shops near you where you can actually pick out all of the stems that you want to bring the look together exactly how you want it. I also had some extra stems so I just laid those along the table runners for a garland effect. Y'all really love how all of this came together. Stay tuned to see the bride's reaction and for some bridal shower fun. I forgot to mention that I did get this event catered, so I don't have a booth set up to show you guys because I definitely got a lot of help putting this party together. Here comes the bride, all dressed in white. This video is sponsored by Cordier Brand and their new game, Who Has the Ring. They make amazing products to help you host the best events. This game is called Who Has the Ring. Oh. This is a raffle game. Everyone would get a card and it's actually a scratch off. And whoever has the ring emoji under their scratch off says, I do. Oh. And then you win a prize. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. I have the ring, babe. I have the ring. <laughs> it's me. It's me. Uh, because maybe I you do. want to camp, maybe you want to get enough for the oh, oh, I do. Oh, you did. Oh. You are a winner, Shondale. I'm a winner. Oh. Winner, winner. Of course we played more games, I had a lot of fun. I recommend having at least three games or activities for a bridal shower to make sure that your guests are fully entertained and that you have enough time to celebrate your bride of honor. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Give this video a like and subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already. Make sure you stay tuned for more posting DIY and home decor content. And until next time, love star.